Good morning, ho ho! It's happy Wednesday! Today is the fourth day since I've started working because my work started since Sunday. I am really counting down to days where I can get proper rest, and that would only be on a Sunday for one day because it's free and easy for the participants. So, today, the plan for them is for them to split up into the various family service centers in Singapore because many of them do not even know what FSC is, and I'm sure you guys also do not know because it might be a very Singaporean thing. So they'll be splitting up for their three days attachment. Two of them will be coming over to my center. So my center will be hosting them and I'm very excited. So very excited to have my center's name go up in the regional and international field because then they'll be talking about their experience at my center. So hopefully all goes well. I think my pimples are getting worse. You see, I'm hiding one here. I feel so sad that I'm having such bad skin. I guess it's just a busy period for me right now. So I just hope that the pimples go away. <laughs> really trying to get more rest. I just hope that all goes well today. Nice talking to you guys again. Goodbye. Morning guys. Talking about being blur. I left my feet there at home. My goodness. We're overcast sky. Looks like I better walk quickly before it starts to rain and pours and me getting wet. I love sharing. <laughs> Things funny, Yuki? Hmm? Yuki, what are you doing on the sofa? Look at me? Huh? What are you doing on the sofa? Hmm? Are you a naughty boy or not a naughty boy? Look at me? Why is he smiling? Get down, come. Get down. Good boy. Okay? Good boy, huh? You know, your own mommy and daddy don't allow you to go on the sofa, not me, right? So you be a good boy, okay? Hmm. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. So it's nearly approaching the end of the week. And my end of the week, as I've mentioned, is on a Saturday. Although Saturday will be a tour, it will be more fun as compared to the normal working week. I'm really counting down to the days where I can finally have like a well-rested day. A little tip about my makeup style. Whenever I am a bit more tired, I tend to put a bit of a brighter makeup so that it sort of brightens my mood as well as my overall look because uh, I can tend to look quite pale so brighter colours do make me look a bit better and brighter thankfully I have fringe which I like to just put it at the side so you guys can see but actually I have one more over here so if I put like that amount of pimples really exposed would be reduced do you guys have any tips for me for those girls or guys I don't know whenever you are waking up feeling like you don't look good, bad hairdo, pimply face. What do you guys do? Comment in the comment section below and let me know. Bye Yuki, mommy's going off to work right now. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Wesley's always giving me very interesting questions and the one now is if I'm given an option to have uploaded into my brain a specific knowledge that I would instantly know about everything, would I choose A. Gardening and Horticulture or B. Textiles and Fashion? Good morning dear ho-hos. I think I would choose Gardening and Horticulture. It's the very in thing right now. It's like go green, be environmentally friendly and even malls or buildings have plants and herbs. So, me being very business oriented as well, I can actually um, offer my expertise on all of this and I'll be sure to earn money. Also, if I'm able to garden well and to have all this knowledge, I can actually plant the herbs that I want, so I can use for cooking. I think the business is bigger for gardening and horticulture as compared to textile and fashion. Thanks Wesley for asking me this question. What's your choice Wesley and what's everyone else's choice? Comment in the comment section below as well. <laughs> I'll be off for work and I'm gonna have meet my colleagues for dinner and for drinks later because it's our colleague bonding time for the very first time and I'm very excited. Just yesterday I realized that one of our participants 
husband's from Nepal. She's called Pushpa Basmanet, and she is actually a very amazing person. I didn't know that until yesterday when I came across her YouTube video. She actually was invited for TED Talks as well, and she's a very amazing woman who really has this passion for children who have been living in prison because of their parents who are incarcerated. So if you can um, support her as well, go and check out her YouTube videos. They are awesome. I'm really glad to be able to network with this kind of people, and they are really very inspiring and really so passionate about the social causes. I was looking through Yuki's old Instagram photos, and oh my goodness, the things that I did when I was younger. It's just hilarious. I'm waiting at Clark Key Station for a donor because this kind donor is donating a laptop for my client and I'm just waiting for her to come. Uh, very thankful that this donor is able to donate this laptop so that my client who has a developmental needs can actually practice some basic data entry. Yeah. Awesome people in Singapore. I guess in the meantime, I shall just clock some steps with my feet beat. Walk, walk, walk. Oh my gosh, the things I do for my client. So heavy. And it feels like rocks are in there, not that top. End of the visit to the FSC for the leaders. Look at that. Social 12 classes. Good morning everyone, today is the tour for the social service leaders and we're gonna bring them all the way from morning to night time so you guys are in for a treat because you guys will get to see Singapore in the touristy sites again because I haven't been there for quite some time and I'm very excited to show you guys just that I have to keep my vlogging activities a secret so you guys might actually just see like me not talking sit back and enjoy and see Singapore in a new light <laughs> waiting for the participants to come, waiting for my friend Jae Hong as well. He'll be our tour guide today. They are very famous for all these people. The whole best of foreigners running these programs. Why is he called a volunteer, etc.? But why we are willing to do it is because we invest a lot of training in them. We train them, put them for leadership camp, um, for at least 